Come Have Coffee with Michelle is sponsored by Cincinnati Museum Center. We are counting down the hours now until an exhibit opening at the Cincinnati Museum Center, and it is going to blow you away all the way back to prehistoric times, some 450 million years ago. And today I'm having coffee with Elizabeth Pierce, the president and CEO of the Cincinnati Museum Center. I'm taking you along on a sneak peek at the amazing exhibit with a big surprise for me along the way. It totally rocked my world. So we really wanted you to feel like you are swimming in the Oregonian Sea here. It's a cool walk back in time, 450 million years ago, step by step across the seabed. As usual, the Cincinnati Museum Center has thought of every single detail to make it amazing. And Elizabeth Pierce is absolutely beside herself as we have coffee on the rocks. This is amazing. Tell us about the exhibit. Oh my God, I have goosebumps to tell you about the exhibit and I keep tearing up because we're so excited about how fabulous it is. So this is Cincinnati's fossils. This, we are world famous for the rocks in our area and these incredible fossil specimens that are here that are 450 million years old. There you go. It's Cincinnati's prehistoric past come to life in a fossil collection regarded as one of the world's finest and largest. And speaking of large, check this out. This is our state fossil. Yes, and this specimen is the largest complete trilobite in the Cincinnati region that we have in our collection of more than a million Fossils. Everywhere you look, it's one amazing... It's just the detail. This that, is breathtaking. Right? It, it really is. Sight after another. You know the all longer, these names. Well, <laughs> I, because I've been hanging around, these, I, I knew nothing about Ordovician fossils until I came to Cincinnati Museum Center. But I have just been so captivated by yeah. our scientists and their storytelling. And then these these pieces are just breathtaking yes. in their detail. I think what people will appreciate here is there's such a connection to Cincinnati. This is it. This is why yeah. Cincinnati lives in the rocks that we live in and you know you can claim the trilobites as your own. In fact, I have one for you to take a look at. Really? Yes. This oh is Flexi Flexicalamine. And this is a trilobite that was found in Mason, Kentucky, Mason County, Kentucky. How old is this? He is 450 million years old. Oh, my and goodness. And the detail is absolutely breathtaking and amazing. And these have all been found in rocks wow. in this greater region. There's so much rich content, so yeah. many specimens to take a hard, deep look at, technology that allows you to zoom in to different fossils incredible artistry in the gallery. We've got beautiful, beautiful things that are really important scientifically. Want to find a fossil? Here's a cool, quick way. Boy, was I lucky to get to hold this trilobite fossil. Pretty good size and in impeccable shape. You are among very few people who get to hold one of these. <laughs> wow. I feel like I should have gloves on or something. Well, it is a 450 million year old rock, so yeah. it's pretty indestructible <laughs> at the moment. And these are the things that you can find around your creek beds and in the cut in the hill when you drive. And this wow. is what makes Cincinnati world famous in the realm of paleontology. The exhibit, 40 years in the making, bringing this gallery to life in all of its spectacular glory. Just another reason, if you haven't been here in a while. People keep saying to me, I haven't been back to Union Terminal in ages. What are you doing? Get off your couch. Come down here and see this. Right. It's this, amazing. It's worth it. An Ancient Worlds Hiding in Plain Sight is the name of the exhibit, and it opens in just a few days. You don't want to miss it. It's worth the trip to the Cincinnati Museum Center, I'm telling you. Thanks to Elizabeth and her team for giving us that sneak peek before they open the doors. So go learn all about Cincinnati's prehistoric past. It is really a treat. Coming up next time on Come Have Coffee, we are taking our coffee on the run with Erica Palmer, a run coach about to hit a big milestone at the Queen Bee Race on October 14th, her 100th marathon. Erica's bringing a whole bunch of women along on her own run and fitness journey. That is next time on Come Have Coffee. <laughs>